here we will understand sugar manufacturing process there are number of steps involved in production of raw sugar from sugar cane juice first step is cane receiving and unloading where the sugar canes are received at the factory and unloaded it from the transport vehicles next is cane preparation where cutting and shredding of sugar cane is done to prepare it for juice extraction next is juice extraction next juice clarification next to it juice evaporation next syrup clarification further crystallization then centrifugation sugar drying and packaging and delivery in sugar manufacturing industry the sugar cane juice is extracted by the process of milling in milling the sugar canes are squeezed under a set mills using high pressure between heavy iron rollers every set of mills is called a tandem mill or mill train in order to improve the extraction efficiency imbibition water is added at each meal those meals can have from 3 up to 6 rolls here is an image of tandem meal next step is juice clarification sugar cane juice obtained after the extraction process contains many impurities thus juice must be clarified in order to remove all the impurities sugar cane juice has a ph of about 4 to 4.5 calcium hydroxide which is also known as milk lime or lime suspension is added to the cane juice to adjust its ph up to 7 this process precipitates impurities which get held up in the calcium carbonate crystals after clarification sugar cane juice is evaporated to increase its concentration for evaporation multiple effect evaporators are used which are often comprised of 3 to 5 stages of evaporation during evaporation the sugar cane juice of 10 to 15% sucrose strength is concentrated to a syrup containing 55 to 59% of sucrose next step is crystallization the heavy syrup produced in evaporators proceeds to vacuum pans where it undergoes further evaporation to achieve a state of super saturation many a times sugar crystallization process can be initiated by adding fine seed crystals of sugar it is carried out in three stages the first crystallization or a strike is crystallized sugar and a residual mother liquor known as a grade molasses next is 
the a grade molasses containing syrup is further concentrated to yield b strike with a corresponding lower grade b molasses next this process is repeated a third time to produce c sugar and the final molasses called black strap after crystallization the important step is separation of the sugar crystals which is carried out by the process of centrifugation centrifugation is a separation of sugar crystals from adhered molasses which is carried out using a cylindrical equipment that rotates at a high speed the molasses or honey passes through the fabric and the crystals are trapped within the centrifuges and then washed with water here the raw sugar from centrifuges obtained contains 97 to 99% of sucrose it has golden color from a thin film of molasses covering the sugar crystals then the crystals obtained are deposited on conveyor belts where it cools and dries on its way to the storage facility after separation of sugar crystals they are dried in order to reach the moisture content up to 0.2% for raw sugar and 0.03% for pure refined white sugar next of sugar export raw sugar goes directly from dryer to storage warehouses in the warehouses it is loaded in trucks that transport the same to the shipping port remember that further processing steps will produce brown or raw sugar thank you